Good afternoon, YouTube. What's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Destiny. This video, we're going to go over my God Roll Clever Dragon, or I'm going to call it Deity Roll, since it bugs a few of you guys out there in the comments. Clever Dragon, we're going to go over the best perks you might be looking for in a Clever Dragon, as well as the importance of high caliber rounds and Head Seeker. Did some tests in private matches that was a little eye glaring because uh, my role, which I'll show you in a second, is Head Seeker with high caliber rounds. I, I got a number of clever dragons and I'll show you a few of them. But man, just having Head Seeker and also having high caliber rounds, I'm winning a lot of gunfights. Now, if you're new to my channel, I am average at best when it comes to PvP, okay? I'm not one of those types that, look, when I do a PvP video, it's for the common folk. It's for us filthy casuals. Uh, usually when I watch someone that's just a beast in PvP, unless they explain it to me in uh, layman's terms, okay? I'm not gonna do well with that weapon, okay? But the Clever Dragon is something that, when it's time to kill, which when I look it up, it's literally 0.8 seconds to down someone if you land all your criticals. This thing is good for everybody, let alone in the hands of a beast. So let's get the boring stuff out of the way. The rate of fire is 77 and the impact is four. That's the same as the grasp of Malak. Now the range, without any additions to it, is 31. Now in my humble opinion, and I got this cue from Cool Guy, just look up Cool Guy Destiny on YouTube. Uh, in my opinion and his opinion, uh, pulse rifles don't suffer from range drop off like they do hand cannons. Like when you get a hand cannon for PvP, you gotta have rifled barrel or reinforced barrel, something for the range. I'm gonna show you some clips and also in private matches, Man, range on this thing is ridiculous without anything added to it. I don't need range finder. I don't need anything to add range to it. And actually, head seeker does you a little bit of a benefit when you're at long range. Now, I know the elitists out there will say the Hawksaw and PDX 45s are better in terms of their time to kill and everything, or maybe their rate of fire. Is that what you, you know? Look, it's all preference, okay? I just find that when you have a fast firing pulse rifle with high caliber rounds, with good stability, and with Head Seeker, you know what? There's a lot of arguments with Head Seeker. I personally, I love having it on fast firing pulse rifles. Uh, one of my buddies, he got a Hopscotch Pilgrim. He likes having Head Seeker on his Hopscotch. For me personally, I'd rather have something else on a Hopscotch Pilgrim. But then again, right now with the current meta, Metador, it's all Matador 64s whole other topic, I find that those things, I'd rather a different perk when it comes to these slow firing pulse rifles. In fact, I don't use any of the slow firing pulse rifles in PvP, mainly because I'm not good with them, because you, you kind of have to land all your crits. The Clever Dragon, Grasp of Malak type of pulse rifles are good at pretty much any range. Long, well, I would say they're best, close, and medium. Long, they're decent. Okay, so here is my deity, quote unquote, deity role. Why does it bug you when people say God roll? Look, I'm in competition with everyone else. If everyone else is calling them God rolls, I'm calling them God rolls. I got a hand laid stock, high caliber rounds, and head seeker. That's what's working out best for me right now. So my good friend Rob and I hopped into uh, private matches. So criticals, it's gonna do 23s, and to the body, it's gonna do 16s. So I'm gonna keep backing off from him, and you're gonna see the range is ridiculous. But what you're gonna notice is the farther I go, and I'm still gonna get 23s here, I'm gonna keep moving back here. You're gonna see Head Seeker now start to kick in. Because normally when I'm at medium range, I can land most of my shots, right? But here I am aiming right at his head. I'm moving back even farther. Now watch, I'm not getting 23s, I'm getting 24s now. Why? Because that first bullet in the three round burst is causing Head Seeker to proc. When you get up close to people, I saw as high as 26s in terms of criticals for those last two bullets, right? So the first bullet's gonna hit, Head Seeker's gonna proc, so the first bullet's gonna give me a 23. And then I even saw up close it dropping 26s for criticals. Now, Rob himself has high caliber rounds on his Clever Dragon. So watch if I'm trying to snipe him. Watch how he flinches me. Look, my reticle goes all over the place. I was noticing that last night when snipers were trying to hit me, I would start laying into them, even if they were far away, and they would instantly back off if I didn't kill them. Now, here's a simulation of a one-on-one -on -one gunfight. We're both aiming at each other's heads. And now watch when we both start shooting, my reticle goes straight up because he's flinching the heck out of me with his high caliber rounds. Now what prompted that test was when I was using my Mida in Iron Banner, I went against the guy with a clever dragon. He started flinching me like crazy and my reticle just went straight up. He won the gunfight and he was pretty far away. I inspected his character, sure enough, he had a clever dragon with high caliber rounds. So I, I'm gonna say high caliber rounds, definitely a must on this thing if you can get one. So I've got the Bungie Armory up in front of me and I'm gonna go over the perks I'm gonna recommend. And of course, let me know in the comment section what your thoughts and opinions are. So you got Counterbalance, Range Finder, Hidden Hand, Head Seeker, or Glass Half Full. I'm gonna say Head Seeker, possibly Hidden Hand, 
Counterbalance is another good one. I would say not range finder, not glass of full. In the next column, you got unflinching, feeding frenzy, secret round, outlaw, or life support. I'm gonna say maybe unflinching, possibly feeding frenzy, and maybe outlaw. I would say pass on secret round and life support. Next up, you got feather mag, appended magazine, casket mag, or high caliber rounds. No brainer, high caliber rounds is what you want. Next column, you could choose snapshot, lightweight, quick draw, armor piercing rounds. I would say out of those, maybe snapshot, maybe quick draw. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section. Next up, we have hand laid stock, injection mold, oil frame, brace frame. I'm going to say hand laid stock or brace frame. Anything that could give you as much stability as possible. Next column, you got perfect balance, hammer forge, small bore, or send it. I would say perfect balance. You know, you don't need range in this thing. Uh, you, then again, if you disagree, let me know in the comment section. Do you feel that pulse rifles like this do have a range drop off? I don't. Let me know in the comment section. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. I'm putting this up on Saturday, which means you have Saturday, Sunday, Monday to grind Iron Banner. You can either buy the one that she's selling, which is not bad, or just grind the heck out of it. I've gotten, I'd say, a total of five or six of these things dropped, and two of them dropped with high caliber rounds. The other two, the other three of them were not so great. So that's it, guys. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Are you one of those, I like Head Seeker, or are you one of those anti people? Because <laughs> I see a lot of people saying Head Seeker doesn't make a difference. I don't know. For me, you know, I have a near identical role, except instead of Head Seeker, I have Counterbalance. But I find that I do much better when it comes to having Head Seeker. I don't know why. Maybe it's because when I'm at medium range or even long range, I'm getting just a little bit more damage from Head Seeker proc. And I don't know. Maybe it's just a placebo effect. But you know what it means? Babble mode is engaged. So do me a favor. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream, usually on YouTube. And that is it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.